The Ministry of Mines and Energy explained that it had revoked the license after Xin Feng was found to have deliberately filed incorrect information during the application process and that the company failed to adequately explain the misleading information. The state, in its defense, says Xin Feng applied for an exploration license and not for a mining license, adding the company also submitted reports to the ministry that are plagiarized and did not contain enough information that specifies their activities. The ministry stated that it is within the state's power to recall a license as a way to protect the environment and resources. The application was brought by Zing Fen to, re, to basically set aside the, the decision by the minister to revoke the license. So it's a two-part application in which they seek for an interdict to stop us from basically um, revoking the license. And then secondly, the second part will be heard at a later date. from both sides, from both parties, both the applicants and the respondents which is obviously us as the Ministry of Mines and Energy. And I think it's important that we wait for the outcome of the court on the 2nd of June. Xinfeng Investment argues that its application for the license was detailed and included all technical requirements. Therefore, the minister cannot revoke the license. It says the minister seems not to have been well informed of the technical details of the application at the time of issuing the license. The minister, Xin Feng, further claims does not indicate legal provisions that empowers him to revoke the mining license. Xin Feng is adamant that the license is still valid currently and cannot be cancelled. The lithium mining company has been in the news lately when the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Natural Resources visited its mining site following complaints by the Uis and Omaruru community that it was mining illegally there. Minister of Mines and Energy Tom Arendo also had community meetings in the state areas. What followed then was the revoking of the mining license. Jelena Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.